Roberto De Zerbi's nomadic playing career included a Serie A stint with Napoli and two league titles in Romania with CFR Cluj. He then went into management shortly after retiring from playing. He learned the ropes with Serie D amateurs Darfo Buaro, then picked up his first trophy with Foggia, where he also played the most games as a professional footballer, winning the Coppa Italia Lega Pro in 2016. But De Zerbi's rise to prominence and acclaim as a coach really began when he took over Benevento after a short stint with Palermo. Benevento are a small club who exceeded expectations in earning promotion to Serie A for the 2017-18 season. Although they were immediately relegated, De Zerbi won plaudits for his adventurous approach, possession-based football and astute transfer business. Despite relegation, Sassuolo, who themselves only joined Serie A for the first time in 2013-14, liked what they saw, and De Zerbi has continued to enhance his reputation with a team famed for producing talented young players and canny transfer business. Under De Zerbi, Sassuolo have lined up in a 4-3-3 and a 3-4-3, the two systems he preferred at Benevento. Both systems build slowly from the back. The 4-3-3 sees a screening midfielder, usually Francesco Magnanelli, dropping in to make a series of passing options with the fullbacks and centre-backs. The 3-4-3 instead uses the centre-backs. While the wing-backs do offer width, but are happier to return possession to the centre-backs in a controlled manner rather than bursting forwards. The aim is to build slowly and then transition quickly, ideally with vertical passes through the centre. This is the case with both systems, and in both, the wide attacking players will dovetail into the centre. Kevin Prince Boateng is strong in the air, and, as someone used to playing as an attacking midfielder, is happy to drop away from the defensive line to pick up the ball. Domenico Berardi is quick and frequently cuts inside from the right wing, making angled runs with or without the ball to end up centrally in support of the attack. Sassuolo attack in this way because the change of pace unsettles sides. They seem to be playing slowly around the back, not really looking to advance the ball a great deal, with even the wide players playing it safe, and then there is a sudden change of pace as the ball is sent up the middle of the pitch, either as a through ball to run onto, or to then send wide to an overlapping run before a cross is pulled back. While quick vertical passes through the centre are Sassuolo's preferred method, they do use width, especially in the 4-3-3, when the screening midfielder allows the fullbacks to press higher. The two central midfielders, usually Alfred Duncan and on loan AC Milan youngster Manuel Locatelli, or the creative Stefano Sensi, will move at angles forwards or back, either to fill in for the fullbacks as they push high, or to create the overlap if the fullbacks stay back. This places a real emphasis on the understanding between the fullbacks and midfield, and Polo Rola and Juventus Loni Rogerio have impressed us both wing and fullbacks. When Sassuolo attack out wide, the aim is to get the ball back low into an area around the penalty spot. Indeed, no Serie A side has taken more shots from within the penalty area rather than outside it. And whether the side attack wide or centrally, they still look to create the change of pace, the shift from slow patient possession to quick surging attacks. Defensively, Sassuolo vary the degree to which they press, but the triggers are the same. The ball moving wide or backwards under pressure, and opposition players facing their own goal, Sassuolo do look to win the ball back and counter quickly, and their wide centre-backs in a back three formation also look to step out of the line to intercept, carry the ball forwards, and then spring a counter with a through ball. Sassuolo are not a great side defensively, though, and while their front three and wing or fullbacks work hard to press the ball, they are vulnerable to sides who can break that easily, as the midfield, especially in a 3-4-3, can become isolated. They can also look a little static once they fall back into a low block, relying on the aerial ability of their centre-backs to repel any crosses without pushing out too much to close down the man on the ball. What is impressive, though, is that De Zerbi's team remained true to their principles of possession football, building from the back, and looking for difficult but effective through balls. They may not have the most experienced or expensive side, but De Zerbi is a manager who knows how he wants to play the game. He's encouraged his young team, sprinkled with a few older, more experienced leaders like Magnanelli, Boateng, and keeper Andrea Consiglie, to stick to these principles. So far, for the young manager and his side, it does appear to be working.